Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I'm not sure if you'll see this or not, but I'm going to, oh, I'm going to have to bring my stool back. Anyway, these are the colors that I'm going to use. A lot of them are color shifts, like the folk art, minty green and the turquoise. Okay, you can see those, cool. I'm back on my ladder again. Now I'm getting down. <laughs> I love you guys! These things blowing away in the trees are my swipe claws. Stay. Got a pretty heavy breeze. This is black gloss enamel, not satin enamel, because, and I don't know why I put that S in there, because I can't seem to get over it. Anyway, this is also white satin enamel. So, also gloss, not satin. Both folk art. Wow, I'm, I don't need to start over. You guys know I'm crazy. Um, I'm using a prop dish. I'm going to put these aside for a minute. I'm using just the lid from something to prop up my shovels and one of these little saucers from Michaels that I love to, to use for all kinds of things, paint pouring. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use gold last first. I'm going to use some gold last because I love how that seems to turn out when I use the satin enamel. That gloss enamel, darn. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to I'm going to do something that I wasn't doing when I recently did some swipes. And that was that I just put colors on the canvas and swiped over them. And this time it's going to be a little different than that because I want to use, I want to see what the black and the white gloss, folk art, enamel do together. And I can change things up a little bit, but I'm going to have to pick the colors that I really want here because I can see now, I don't need to use that white again there. I know that this color will sell. And I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a rainbow hue. Let's put that over there so I can get more paint in there. Whoops. <laughs> that came out rather easily, as you can see. I have this wonderful Modern Masters orange I'm completely addicted to right now. So what I think what I'm going to try and do is go in a slightly different direction for the shovel as the, the dustpan. But I still want to be able to see if this white gloss enamel <laughs> will do what I want it to do. And keep my neon folk art neon because it always requires some white nearby. I'm just going to keep doing the black. I don't know that I need a lot of black, and I don't know whether I need it at all, to be honest with you, because this is a dustpan pour, which means I'm going to be taking the canvas that I have prepared. Do I want to do anything else? I do. I kind of do. You know what? I want some gold. Some more gold. And I might do that right here also. I don't know when enough is enough, but I never get enough colors, so... I'm going to put, let's just go ahead and, these squeeze bottle, bottles are nice because the tops are big enough to get a marble into, but I don't really like or appreciate the, um, the little cap hanging on there. I like to cut them off. I have a color I'm not seeing, and it is right over there. Now, if I put these down on the canvas and I don't see a color that I want, after they go on, I will add it. And I'm thinking yellow is okay when I use it, especially when I use it with the green. Basically just doing a rainbow, you know, not, not pulling any punches, not, not making it up as I... Let's do the white again. I really want a nice full container because my canvas is a 16 by 20, but it's got deep edge sides, which means they're about two inches. Now, do I like all those colors enough? I kind of want some more black in there, but I think I want some drama more than I want the black. Not that the black isn't drama, because it is. And I would have usually used regular white, but this is a good experiment for me, and I really want to know. And I have so many good colors in there. 
and I'm not putting the enamel between every layer, which would have been probably a better experiment, but um, que sera sera. It's in there. Regardless, I'm going to finish with either that purple or the Grumbacher Prussian Blue. I say that. You know I lie. Um, that's not what I want to finish with. I want the Folk Art Turquoise Color Shift. It's one of my all-time favorites. Yeah, that'll do it. So I'm going to take a second and put a lot of these bottles out of my way. In spite of the fact that I want to use them, I've found some small plastic turntables and uh, I use them outdoors now and it makes things a little bit easier. So my bottles are mostly out of the way. I'm going to need that black satin enamel. I want these to not spill. I don't think I have too much paint there. I don't really want that there. My, my Lola Fee silicone mat is kind of buried under, under a lot of paint. But uh, there it is. <laughs> but it's going to be cool when I peel it all up. I want to tell you what. Now, somewhere right here, I have pre-primed the edges a couple times even with my finger of a 2 inch wide 16 by 20 inch canvas. And my plan is to grab my black actually this black and give myself some patterns that I'm going to fill in with those shovels or that shovel and I'm going to use my OXO omelet turning spatula just to start and leave my random places this is just meant to lead me this is not the satin enamel I don't need to waste it for sure I'm going to try and pay attention to the marks that I leave and I'm not all right, there's no specific plan here. I figure the overlaps will be fine. Something will work out. I kind of like to let nature take its course as far as things go because it is accidental art a lot of times. And even though I like to do what I like to do on purpose with it, I like to experiment with how the accidents are going to work out. So you can find this OXO omelet turning spatula and a lot of other art supplies that I really like right on the blue link First blue link underneath, show more underneath the video. That's my Amazon link. You could probably find it if you want to, uh, if you, I don't know how to search for Priscilla Batsell's <laughs> Amazon link, but I bet you could if you, if you were smarter than me. <laughs> All right, so now I've got a nice amount of wet paint that I'm kind of thinking will be helpful. And uh, I want to knock off everything that I can get off my spatula. And that's a sip breeze. Wow. I might want to let that calm down for a second. I am going to go ahead, and I'm not going to use any specific way of uh, applying this, but I am going to start I just guess I'm going to start. <laughs> And I'll let some of that flow right over the side. And I'll probably come back through with my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula and add any paint that's left. I might want to leave a little bit of that in the container just on general principles. So I have it. I could spread that. I'm probably going to tip something. It may be blowing and running. This is weird and I know it and I've never done anything quite like this before and I'm excited. And I'm going to want more turquoise, I can tell right now. I may not want to do what I planned on doing either. Alright, so I don't really have as much color as I want and I want to see what I really want and I think I said it already that the turquoise was of interest to me. So I'm going to take some of my older Art Minds turquoise, where did the white satin enamel go? There it is. And some white, and where did the, uh, hello? <laughs> it's so funny. It's right here in front of my face, and still I can't see it. There it is. I put it away. Of course I did. And I think what I'm missing, and I like the, the best, is uh, also put away. 
and that is this um, neon from folk art. I really don't expect any of this to look the same when I'm done and I really could leave it all and be pretty happy but that's not the plan and I'm going to follow through on my plan today as best I can. Now what I can do with my naked spots is throw a little paint in there especially picking colors that I like like a little more there on that canvas spot a little more here on that canvas spot maybe some more gold just in general in there because I'm not so sure about those colors yet and here and there, anything else? Right there. The trick is to get to this while it's all nice and wet. There's a lot of paint there, and my temptation is still at this point to give that a little bit of a tip. But in order to want to do that, I'm going to need to grab an edge catcher, which is nothing more than a plastic sheet that was the protective layer in a package of 16 by 20 inch canvases. And I have one. Cool. So, not as convenient. To work with by far these large canvases. I'm just gonna just gonna cover up some of that canvas so when I swipe it won't be as much of a problem. And I'd love for that wind to calm down. Microburst! At least the canvas is heavy and I'm not worried about it flying anywhere. And hopefully my rags are still nice and dry. Yes, I'm still sticking my finger in there, covering up little spots of canvas that I can see. So that's an okay composition, but it's nothing that's, that's making me super happy. Keeping that, uh, that edge catcher on the table might be a chore. That orange is not... Come back here, edge catcher. That orange is not making me as happy as I would like it to be. So I'm perfectly happy to let some of that slide. I might want some black back again. You'd think I was just doing my normal thing now and composing, but I'm not really am going to swipe because I can. Hey, that's the name of my first book on the Amazon link. The second one is called Unlimited Possibilities. I'm going to let all of that get scraped off under there right now. I'm going to find my swipe cloths. I got some pretty cells already. I want to put some of this black here, black satin enamel here, and use I need that to be dipped in, please. I need more black satin enamel right there on my cloth. That's where it's going, and that's... So my cloth did not stay wet enough. But I am having a good time. And I'm going to wet the other ones before I use them. I'm going to let that color go right down over the edge. I'm going to put my other cloth right back Right now, I need them to be heavier. <laughs> Let's hope that this works. I was really looking forward to this working. I haven't given up yet. I'm going to let that, I'm going to attempt to let that rest right in there in that satin enamel. down over the edge. I need to move my canvas a little more closer to the edge of the tile. There we go, much better. So the rag actually has room to maneuver down. I could actually leave that right like it is. I think I want to try and use the tiniest cloth. Actually I think I already did. <laughs> Never mind. Let's go back in here figure, figuring we've got some satin enamel on the cloth already. I'm going to press that right against the side as I go down. Getting some really wicked cells. Some strange ones too. I think I'm going to... Hello. Goodbye. Let's just do something like that. I think I'm going to be taking the straw to this. There. I 
I like those cells I've got over here too much to want to destroy them. Even in the name of any cool experiment. My turntable is stopping me. I really want to still take the straw to this. I could flip my little rag over. I did put it on the side away from me, which is maybe too smart. I like everything I see down here, but it has to be a unified experiment at this moment. I'm not usually that stubborn, actually. I'm usually pretty flexible, but uh, this is the plan. And I am going to take a straw. I don't have much time left. I've got like 19 seconds left. Before I have to tell you guys, please share my videos and uh, please shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you. List number one has all kinds of cool stuff on it. Probably the other one does too. I just never re remember to think about it. So, I don't know why I thought I could get this done in 20 minutes, but maybe I still can. I gotta get my airbrush out one of these days pretty soon. Can you believe it? My whole life, I never had an airbrush. Now I've got one and I haven't used it since I bought it like a year ago. I've been busy. What can I say? So, uh, what can I tell you guys? There's Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation for Students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors for Fans and Collectors. I like that the gold stays on the surface of this. And I like discovering riotous colors underneath. Don't like it when I get spit in my straw. That's pretty cool. You know what? I could definitely, yeah. Definitely, probably, <laughs> use balloon rolls and be pretty happy about that. I've almost got a complete composition. Let's see if I can remember anything to tell you from my list. That's not my list. Hey, I found a list. Nope, that's not a list either. Anyway, so if you share my videos, you're very helpful to me. But if you want to help me stay on YouTube, and that's important to both, and that's important to both of us, watching the video longer is the only thing that the YouTube algorithm really understands. The longer you watch, the more likely I am to get placed, and eventually maybe they'll give back the notifications to my 85,000 subscribers that I am only 100 away from at this exact moment. I should really probably come back again. Especially since I discovered some really cool colors. I'm loving what I've got. I'm not sure where it's going to go from here. I love you guys. <laughs> I'm forgetting all kinds of stuff. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression to Start Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, I should probably come back for at least the very finish of this and see what happens. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Don't forget the end screens. There's a drawing there.